When we look up at the moon at different times of the month, we see it change. Sometimes we see a full moon, sometimes we only see a quarter of it, and sometimes we don't see it at all. This brings us to our investigation question. How and why does the moon's appearance change? Also, how do moon phases differ from eclipses? To investigate, we will look at models to represent the moon phases over the course of a complete orbit. Our claim. We used this diagram to investigate our question and found that the moon orbits the Earth over a period of one month. We also found that there are eight complete phases during this month. By analyzing this data, we can generate the claim that as the Earth rotates on its axis, the moon orbits the Earth counterclockwise as the sun remains stationary. Over the course of a month, the moon goes from a new moon to a waning crescent. When the phase is complete, the process repeats itself. A moon phase represent, represents the moon's shadow on itself. Since the moon is roughly spherical, the angle between the Earth, moon, and sun changes constantly. We see different portions of the moon lit up at any given time, which causes the phases of the moon. The moon does not create its own light. The shadow on the moon is caused from the sunlight. Our evidence. We have visual representations to show the phases of the moon. We will use cutout pictures of the sun, earth, and eight moon phases. We have printed out the eight moons, and we will have eight different size cutouts of black paper to represent the eight different phases. This will show what the moon looks like at various times during the complete phase. Scientific reasoning. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to model the eight phases of the moon. So for our model, this is our sun and the sunlight coming off of it. This is our earth and these are the eight moon phases that we're going to show you. So the sun stays put the whole time. It does not move. The earth rotates on its axis as it orbits the sun. Meanwhile, the moon orbits the earth. And also, when we put a piece of black paper over the moon in the demonstration, that means that this is the part of the moon that is casting a shadow on itself, and this white part is the part that we can see. It takes one complete month for the moon to orbit the Earth and go through all eight moon phases. Now we're going to model the phases of the moon. The Earth is used to show where we live as well as the position of the Earth in relation to the sun and the moon. So no matter where you are on the Earth, you are going to see the same moon as everyone else each day. So when I refer to waxing in this video, it means growing, and when I refer to waning, it's going to mean shrinking. The sun is very important to the process of the moon phases. The sun's light is cast onto the moon. Because of this, the moon creates a shadow on itself, causing us only to see parts of the moon. Because it takes roughly a month for the moon to orbit the earth, and the sun is casting its light onto the moon, this is why we have the moon phases. The first phase of the moon is a new moon. This is when the sun is positioned directly between the moon and the earth. The sun is projecting its light directly onto the moon, causing us not to see the moon at all. The portion of the moon that we see is not illuminated, and that is why we don't see the moon. The second phase of the moon is a waxing crescent. As the moon moves on its orbit, more of the sun is projected on the portion of the moon that we see. This is why we begin to see part of the moon. The third phase of the moon is the first quarter. This is when the moon is at 90 degree angle with respect to the Earth and the Sun. So we are seeing half of the moon that is illuminated and there's half that we cannot see. The fourth phase of the moon is the waxing gibbous. This is when the sunlight portion is still increasing and we can see more of the moon.
The fifth phase of the moon is the full moon. This is when the Earth, the Sun, and Moon are in perfect alignment. This is similar to a new moon, except the entire portion of the moon that is being illuminated by the Sun is now visible to us. The sixth phase of the moon is a waning gibbous. At this point, the sunlight portion that is visible to us is decreasing. The seventh phase of the moon is the third quarter. At this phase, the moon is at a 90 degree angle with respect to the earth and the sun. This is when we see exactly half of the moon. And the eighth and final phase of the moon is the waning crescent. At this point, the moon is barely visible due to the position of the sun and the earth. So some students might get confused about the difference between an eclipse and the moon phases, so we want to explain that to you as well. A lunar eclipse occurs at night, and a solar eclipse happens during the day. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth casts its shadow on the moon. A lunar eclipse can only occur when the moon is directly opposite the sun in the sky, or a full moon. Even though there is a full moon each month, a lunar eclipse does not occur on a monthly basis because the sun isn't exactly in line with the Earth and the moon. It is okay to look at a lunar eclipse, however, looking directly at a solar eclipse can seriously damage your eyes. Five misconceptions that children's may, children may have while learning about the moon phases are 1. Clouds cover the part of the moon that we cannot see. 2. Planets cast shadows on the part of the moon that we cannot see. 3. The shadow of the sun falls on the moon, blocking our view of it. 4. The shadow of the earth falls on the moon, also blocking our view. 5. The phases are explained in terms of the portions of the illuminated side of the moon visible from the Earth. Scientific reasoning. By analyzing data, we saw evidence to support our claim and answer our investi investigation question. The moon orbits the Earth over the period of one month. Our final wondering that we had as a group and that we thought about our students asking us is a point that our months are not all the same length. Some months have 30 days, others have 31. What happens on a leap year? We were worried that our super smart students would come up with these questions and we wouldn't be able to answer it. So we investigated this question as well. What we found is that the period of the moon's orbit is defined as a sidereal month. A sidereal month is a length of time that it takes the moon to make a full revelation around the earth with respect to the background stars. A sidereal month is 27.321661 days or 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 11.5 seconds. Um, I, we don't have to be like, hi, right? <laughs> it's recording. Oh, it's um, going to be part of our bloopers. I know. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you learned. Oh my god, I'm so much darker than you guys. You guys are red. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh gosh. So dark. Okay. okay. Wait, which way do I turn my head to get it? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Let's come over this way. Okay. Uh, um, thanks so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, what do we want to say? So thanks, thanks for watching the moon phases. No, Wait, that's weird. That is weird. Yeah, just say thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks just for say I'm learned. Molly, I'm Sarah, okay. and I'm Frankie, and thanks for watching. <laughs> we all oh, say thanks for watching. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So I'm Molly. I'm Sarah. And I'm Frankie. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching section two. <laughs>